guys welcome back today I have a slightly different video for you because it is what's in my bag video and I haven't done one of these for I think over a year could be a year basically because I very rarely change my handbag and I finally got around to doing it um, through the winter I tend to use my mulberry handbag, I have a Bayswater handbag and I tend to get that out for the winter, I don't know why, I just do and then it goes, it gets sprayed with its protective spray and put away again until next winter. Throughout the rest of the year I've generally been using a Topshop bag I got a couple of years ago and it's finally started to look a little bit scruffy. So I've got my other decent bag out and decided instead of saving it for best I'm going to use it um, and I'm glad I am because it's just so easy. This is a rucksack handbag from Whistles. It has the two straps on the back to put over your back, but it also has a carry handle, which is great because it does fit over the shoulder as well. And this is the large Verity handbag. They do a small size and the small doesn't have the front pocket. It just has the zip top. So this is how it looks. It lifts up, it has a sort of nice metal catch there and you have the main zip for the main compartment and it goes down to quite a depth. It's all in there somewhere. You have an internal zip here and then on the front, as I say, there's another pocket. And I love this because not only is it secured with a metal fastener, but there's also a zip for extra security. I love this. It just sits nicely either with the carry handle or with one of the straps on my shoulder and I can get loads of stuff in it. I can go overnight and just put everything in my bag and it's really great if you're going on an aeroplane for your cabin luggage. I can just throw a change of clothes and all the other bits and pieces. Anyway, let's have a look what's in the bag. Okay, first things first, normally my phone would be in my bag but I've taken it out to charge it, but that, take it as standard, my phone's always in there. And we're going to do the front pocket first. First thing is my wallet that I hold all my cards in and it's a Jack Wills um, card holder bus pass and it's black and it's got little bumblebees all over it. I love bumblebees and it's got cards that I pay with and it's also got my boots card, Space NK, Liberty card, that, that kind of thing. But a really handy little wallet and it's great because I can just put it in my pocket if I don't want to take all my handbag with me. Next I have my change purse which you'll have probably seen in other videos. Um, my friend's daughter Megan bought it for me a long time ago. It's from Kukai and it's where I put my pound coins and things and it's completely empty. I have no pennies to show you but that's really useful as well. I have a my little box drawstring bag and I actually have my glasses in here. It just protects the glass and it's easy for me to grab them and get hold of. And that's basically all I have in my front pocket other than my phone would be in there and if I go out the keys to my house of course because I need to get back in again. Let's have a look in the main bit. It's like Mary Poppins carpet bag. I'm going to start pulling out lamps and things. We'll do the little pocket first. Um, I have some sweeteners if we go out for coffee or a meal or anything. I like to use sweeteners to sweeten my drinks rather than the sugar that they have. I also have a mini handbag bottle of Cordley. That's from last year. There's not a lot left so I need to get another one. I have a pack of tissues. Always handy, always handy to have a pack of tissues. I also have a sewing grooming kit um, and it's got a needle, buttons, a nail file, cotton wool and little cotton buds as well. I picked it up in a hotel but I love to just have this in my handbag. It's so handy. Um, I think they used to have safety pins in them but they don't anymore but I just find them really useful to just carry around. Then I have a couple of things for my hair. I've got a little hair grip there and a hair bobble as I call them to tie my hair up if I need to and all those sit in the pocket. Now into the depths of the handbag itself. First thing I always have a little snack bar. I usually have two or three of these. It's the Eat Natural Almond and Apricot with yoghurt coating. 
We get various ones of these, but we both like to carry them. If you're suddenly peckish somewhere, or you just feel that your sugar levels have dropped, I just think it's so handy to have something quickly. You never know. Um, so I always have something to uh, eat in my handbag. Another um, My Little Box drawstring bag, and this contains tablets and you'll have seen in my other videos that I like to be prepared for most things so I have paracetamols, aspirins, migraine tablets, um, antacid tablets and other things that we ladies need to have all in there. Um, my makeup bag this was um, from Cult Beauty I got a gift I bought some items and got a gift and this came with them and I just like this because it holds just enough um, makeup products just to carry around. I have a Balm Company blusher in the shade, it's Down Boy, which is um, just a nice safe pink. I think when you're on, the, on your travels or you just stopped off somewhere, just to be able to put a quick bit of colour on without being worried that it's going to look too much is a good thing. So I always have a nice safe pink colour. I have my trusty ambient powder from um, Hourglass and this is shade Dim Light. It's really nearly, well it has hit pan there, love that. The concealer is Collection Concealer and the name's rubbed off that as well. I have a couple of mascaras, I have one from Chanel which is La Volume de Chanel and then I have a Sumptuous Mascara from Estee Lauder, both gift size, mini size but great for carrying in your makeup bag. I have an Urban Decay 24-7 eyeliner pencil in Perversion, super good if you don't want to carry a gel liner with you, you can just do a quick eye line with that and it's there to stay. And then I just have a quick and easy My Little Box lipstick that's just easy to apply in a real flattering pinky red colour without it being too heavy going. And they're all in the little silver makeup bag from Cult Beauty. Then I have my... Um, little bag of wires and goodies. I don't always carry so much but um, we have been away recently so I always carry spare plugs. I have an Apple plug so we can both charge our iPads and phone. I then have all the necessary cords and things that you need to charge your uh, items and then I have a mobile charger so if I get stuck anywhere and the charge on my phone is going low this is charged up and I can just plug my phone in and it will charge and I also have a spare battery or two if I take my headphones with me um, I have some Bose noise cancelling headphones and I always find that the battery's flashing low so I always have a spare and it's they're all just kept in a seat through plastic um, cosmetic case. I think I got that from Boots a few years ago, but it's really handy to just see all your electrical charges and everything. Either there's a book or my mini iPad. Um, this is an Orla Keeley case. I'll see if I can put a link to it. But yeah, it just protects it, keeps it safe. Um, I don't always carry this around with me, but if we're going anywhere, traveling um i can't watch it in the car i get travel sick in the car i can't read or do anything read maps but if i'm in an airplane i have no problem headphones on and i have a few films on my ipad or i just listen to music and hiding at the bottom is a very very cheap pair of sunglasses which i think came from maybe new look i don't buy expensive sunglasses because as you've just seen they are just thrown in the bottom of my handbag and I'm renowned for losing glasses and sitting on glasses. So I don't want to spend a lot of money on something I'm just going to break. These I think were probably about £2 and I've had them a long time. Craig always says I look like a bee when I wear them because they're so huge. But when I'm out in the sunshine I like the whole of my eye area to be protected. And they're also really good because I use them to hold my hair back as well, so they're like a headband. In the summer, I just live with sunglasses on the top of my head. But yeah, cheap and nasty, and they're just thrown into my handbag. And that is it. That's everything that's in there. Um, I'll have to do another video on what I put in when I'm going on an aeroplane, but I do sort of roll and fold a spare pair of clothes. Always have a book in there as well. Um, yeah, it's a really good bag. I find even though I've got the same amount of stuff in, it doesn't feel as heavy 
as when I use my normal handbag it just seems to um, share it out a little bit better but a really good bag I love the fact it's light inside so you can see everything and I love the security of the front pocket but yes I'll put a link to it I do know the bags sell out quite often um, I got mine from Whistles itself but I think John Lewis stock um, the Whistles brand and um, there's two sizes I don't know about colours I just wanted a standard black I think there may be a grey not certain on that but yes that's what's in my handbag any questions do ask and i will be back of course with another video of some variety no doubt beauty very soon thank you for watching everyone and i'll see you later bye